Hello, First Congregational Church and friends. It is Monday and therefore I have our weekly scripture passage. The text that we are looking at this week follows on last Sunday's. As, as I mentioned last week, we are starting the narrative lectionary, which is kind of going to lead us through some Hebrew Bible stories. So from Genesis to Exodus, Leviticus, and, and through those um, in this fall season. So last week we had the story of the recreation after the flood. And this week we have the call of Abram. And you may or may not remember that Abram and Sarai started out with those names. And then later on, God renamed them Abraham and Sarah. And so we're going to hear the, the beginnings of that story, the call of Abram. And it, that is in Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 through 9. Now the Eternal said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and the ones who curse you I will curse. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram went, as the Eternal had told him, and Lot, Abram's nephew, went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. Abram took his wife Sarai and his brother's son Lot and all the possessions that they had gathered and the persons whom they had acquired in Haran. And they set forth to go to the land of Canaan. When they had come to the land of Canaan, Abram passed through the land to the place at Shechem, to the Oak of Morah. At that time, the Canaanites were in the land. So the Eternal appeared to Abram and said, to your offspring, I will give this land. So Abram built there an altar to the Eternal who had appeared to him. From there, Abram moved on to the hill country on the east of Bethel and pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and I on the east. And there he built an altar to the Lord, to the Eternal and invoked the name of the Eternal. And Abram journeyed on by stages toward the Negeb. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us, thanks be to God. Now, this was a little bit tongue twisty to read because we have Abram stopping and starting and stopping and starting and at different places building an altar to God. This is Abram in the land that he has been called to. And this is Abram trying to be the blessing that God has told him he will be for generations, for all future generations. So what it has kind of provoked in me this week is where are those places that the divine has led you or met you that were places where you had to stop and say this, this moment, and you pause and build an altar or make sure you remember. And I'll give you a few examples. I think about places in my life like camp. Camp Aldersgate was my church camp growing up. And that place will forever have a spot in my heart, even though it is no longer a church camp that earth there was holy to me. And whenever I think of it, I think of, you know, these rocks in the middle of the stream where we would go stream hiking or the cabins where we would, we would live. That's a place that I want to remember and kind of build an altar to God in my spirit. Not necessarily a place, but a moment when I came out, um, that experience was so life-changing for me. It was God meeting me and telling me, this is who you are and I love you. And so to kind of build an altar in my spirit that says, yes, remember this moment, remember this place. And then another one was when um, I left the East Coast and I moved to California to study and 
my life changed so much that I could actually feel my depression lifting. As a younger person, I, I had experienced a lot of very heavy depression and there was something about that change in life moving from New Jersey to California that I could breathe differently. The sun shone differently and I realized my life could be okay again. And so that, that lessening of the depression was a moment that I'd like to build an altar and remember and say, God met me in this place, in this moment. And so I wonder what, what those moments might be for you this week as Abram and Sarai are called to leave their home, pick up and go and stop here and here and here along the way. What are those places for you? That's a little bit of what I'm thinking in regards to scripture this week. I hope that you will ponder it in your own spirit and maybe consider those places where you need to stop and remember. Blessings. <laughs>